He is known for winning the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1959 for his groundbreaking discovery in the synthesis of ribonucleic acid and deoxyribonucleic acid. He is recognized for his significant contributions to biochemistry, particularly in enzyme chemistry and the study of nucleic acids that govern heredity in various organisms. His name is Arthur Kornberg. In the realm of biochemistry, one name stands out, Arthur Kornberg, an American scientist whose contributions to the field are nothing short of legendary. Kornberg's groundbreaking work on the synthesis of ribonucleic acid, RNA, and deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, earned him the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1959. Together with Spanish biochemist Severo Ochoa, Kornberg unraveled the intricate mechanisms behind the biological synthesis of these essential molecules. Kornberg's research focused on enzyme chemistry and the synthesis of DNA, the molecule responsible for heredity in animals, plants, bacteria, and viruses. His discoveries shed light on the fundamental processes that govern life itself. His groundbreaking work not only helped unravel the mysteries of DNA synthesis but also paved the way for advancements in genetic engineering and biotechnology. Throughout his illustrious career, Kornberg received numerous accolades, including the Paul Lewis Award in Enzyme Chemistry and the National Medal of Science. His contributions to the field of biochemistry continue to inspire future generations of scientists, and his legacy serves as a testament to the profound impact of scientific inquiry on our understanding of the natural world. In the midst of his mundane work feeding rats, Kornberg found his true fascination, enzymes. This led him to join Dr. Severo Ochoa's laboratory at New York University in 1946. To expand his knowledge of organic and physical chemistry and learn enzyme purification techniques, he took summer courses at Columbia University. From 1947 to 1953, Kornberg became the chief of the enzyme and metabolism section at NIH, focusing on understanding ATP production from NAD and NADP. Little did he know that this work would eventually lead him to unravel the secrets of DNA. During his time at NIH, Kornberg also conducted research at Washington University in St. Louis and the University of California, Berkeley. In 1953, he became a professor and the head of the Department of Microbiology at Washington University. Here, he continued his experiments with DNA-creating enzymes. In 1956, he achieved a groundbreaking milestone by isolating the first DNA polymerizing enzyme, now known as DNA polymerase I. This achievement earned him a place in the United States National Academy of Sciences in 1957 and the prestigious Nobel Prize in 1959. In 1960, Kornberg joined Stanford University as a professor and the executive head of the Department of Biochemistry. In an interview in 1997, he mentioned his role in establishing a separate Department of Genetics, acknowledging the genius of Joshua Lederberg but recognizing the need for a more focused and intimate research environment. Alongside his work on DNA synthesis, Kornberg also developed a lifelong fascination with spores after his mother's tragic death from a spore infection. From 1962 to 1970, he dedicated half of his research efforts to unraveling the mysteries of spores, their storage of DNA, replication mechanisms, and cell generation. Throughout his career, Kornberg maintained an active research laboratory at Stanford, publishing numerous scientific journal articles. He explored various areas of study, including the metabolism of inorganic polyphosphate. His legacy extends beyond his individual achievements, as the Kornberg School of Biochemistry refers to the many graduate students and postdoctoral fellows he mentored, who went on to become leaders in the field. Today, the Arthur Kornberg Medical Research Building at the University of Rochester Medical Center stands as a testament to his contributions. Until his passing, Kornberg continued to inspire and drive scientific progress, leaving an indelible mark on the world of biochemistry. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.